Would you like your 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 business to be built off uh, more listings? You know, a lot of real estate agents, and especially today in the industry, real estate agents are doing about ninety percent of their business with buyers, and about ten percent of their listings. And most of those listings are coming from past, past buyer clients. And so I want to just share some information on how you can find another listing because in coaching, in um, w when I'm dealing with agents, they're always looking for, Greg, how can I get another listing? So I'm just going to give you three simple uh, skill sets or simple tips that you can focus on that you might be able to land a listing sooner than you thought. Uh, step number one, the most likely place you can find a listing is within your past buyer clients. Look. 88% or 80 to 88% of buyers say they will use you, use the same agent after they've closed the transaction, but only 10% of them do. And the reason is, is we're just not staying in touch with them. We're not top of mind anymore, any longer. We were working with them every day, talking to them often. They bought a property, then our communication practically stopped. So all you have to do is have a post closing process. After you sell the property, make sure that you are calling that past client a minimum of every three months. That's only four times a year. And just check in, see how things are going. And then of course, ask them who they know that might be buying or selling real estate. Eventually, they're going to sell. There's an opportunity to get a listing. In the meantime, if you've done a good job and they like their property, they're likely to give you a referral. Every past buyer client is worth two additional transactions. It's a, in a, it's a future listing and it comes sooner than you think and it's a future referral. So for every sale, you should be getting three commission checks. So one place you can find listings is go call all of your past clients right now because most of us have not done that. Call them all right now. You're probably going to be excited because you're going to find one that's thinking about selling and you're probably going to be disappointed because you're going to find one that's already on the market or recently sold and they use somebody else. The second place that you need to be looking if you want to get another listing is in your CRM. Now in your CRM, the key with CRMs is CRMs are not just a place where you can hold a bunch of information. It's, it shouldn't be considered just a list of names and addresses and email addresses and telephone numbers. The CRM needs to be hooked up to some sort of IDX some and, and getting some sort of workflows so then you can see who's engaging and who's not engaging. If you want to find a listing, look inside your CRM see who's engaging and reach out and touch them. Give them a call. If they're opening up your emails, if they're opening up the reports that you're sending, then that tells us that they're interested in the conversation. So we need to be talking to more people that are interested in the conversation. So go into your CRM and don't just, I'm not saying just randomly call everybody. I'm saying observe who's engaging and make them a priority and give them a call. Like you might be sending market reports like we do every single month. Well, just give them a call and say, hey, I've been sending you some market reports on a monthly basis. It gives an indication of what prices are. I'm just kind of curious, what do you think about the prices right now for properties like yours? That could be a great conversation starter. Watch how quickly you'll get into a dialogue and it becomes a number game, numbers game at that point. That's where you're going to be able to find opportunities, people who are thinking about listing. About 10% of your database is going to convert every 18 to 24 months. So you can see if you're calling them once a quarter, calling the people that are engaging, you're likely to find a listing. And the third place is, look, for sale by owners. I have to kind of give an old school strategy also on this video, but for sale by owners. And the reason why I bring them up is because they're starting to get frustrated and impatient. They put their property on the market knowing it was going to sell immediately. It hasn't sold immediately. They're tired of agents calling them. They're tired of buyers calling them and being no shows or making low ball offers. They're getting frustrating and they're starting to think, especially this time of the year, maybe we should go ahead and talk to a real estate agent. So between your past buyer clients, the people that are engaging in your CRM, and for sub owners, knowing that they're getting more frustrated and impatient, if you go in and in, 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 in become active in those few strategies, you're likely to find another listing right now. Now, I'm Greg Harrelson, Century 21, the Harrelson Group, also have offices in Greenville, Spartanburg, Bowling Springs, South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, Charleston, 
Wilmington, North Carolina, of course, Myrtle Beach, Horry County, Conway. We've got offices all through the Carolinas. And I'm constantly looking for agents that I can have an impact on, maybe coach personally and help them grow your business. So if there's anything I can do for you, please just reach out. Maybe direct message me on Facebook, email me, call me on my cell. I'd love to talk with you. Bye, everybody. Bye.